back up. Oh, buddy. All right, folks. We successfully got the swimming pool set up. Of course, he was a little wary at first because he's used to that hot tub over there. But when his mama jumped in there first, then he finally got comfortable. Life is good, my friends. Life don't get any better than this. If I had my Maria Mercedes here, there's nothing that could be better. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Folks, that is one sexy mama over there. <laughs> Baby, I'm shooting a YouTube video and I can see your hoo-ha. <laughs> Folks, look here. Get to the... Let's get down to business. Got the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker on the Sonic uh, grill, not grill, uh, burner. And I did go up to Walter Mart. I got some butane, fresh bottle of butane. And we're coming in here with the shrimp, with the butter, lemon, onion, garlic. And these ladies are trying to put soy sauce in it. And I'm like, no, no, no soy sauce. Give a look around Times Square. Beautiful day here in the Philippines. A little bit of raining going on, but you saw earlier on the video. But we finna throw down in the Lodge 3.2 quart cast iron cowbo cooker made in america by the good folks down in south pittsburgh tennessee shout out to y'all my friends great gear best cooking equipment cooking gear money can buy made in america Faye. Are you gonna jump in too? You can jump in too. All right, folks, what you do? Well, look, don't be smoking cigars when you're trying to put the butane gas in there. All right, folks, now I got my microphone plugged in, so maybe you can hear me now. Again, uh, microphones on this iPhone 8 Plus are not great. So this is a, the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. Look at that. Made by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. Wife number one's over there with a bra on. Playing in the high tub. Got titties hanging out everywhere. This is a Sonic SPGR 505. It's just something off of uh, Lazada. I think this thing is made in Korea and that's probably why it got better reviews. Well, at least the marketing says it was made in Korea, which is a huge step up from China. Fucking China! And I bought this butane gas up at uh, Ace Hardware at the Baltimore in Subic Town. 85 or 90 pesos, it's, it's expensive. It's, here, here you go, right here. 84.75 pesos. And it's 250 grams. Now this is made in Korea, which means it's a higher quality than the Chinese shit that you can buy on Lazada. So this is much safer and better quality, but if you want cheap, you just go to Lazada and order it. And fucking Chinese shit. Look, if you never use these stoves, you just start you from uh, the beginning. Now you've got fuel lock, unlock, okay? It's off and then you turn it, that's the start when you click it. Make sure it's off, make sure it's unlocked. You're gonna open the sky up and pay attention to that notch because the notch goes up, all right? And that little nipple just goes down right there. So it's pretty simple. You don't really put it in there. You just kind of put it in line. See how that works? Just put it in line right there. And you come over here and you just pull this down. And when you pull that down, it's in the lock position. It locks this thing in. And so now you're ready to go. And what you want to do is just close it up. And I'll just give you a demonstration here before I start cooking. But you just open it up all the way, hit a click, and boom. Show you one more time. Open it up, click. It's got an automatic ignition. This is a great piece of gear. Um, 
I don't think I have the link. I don't remember exactly where I bought it from. Folks, check out wife number one over there looking sexy in a high tub. I got tits hanging out everywhere. Faye and my son over there. Folks, I'm, I'm living a dream. I want you to take a look at my old lady. My God, I wake up to that and I go to bed to that every night. It's a hard motherfucking life, but somebody's got to live it. It's a portable gas stove by Sonic. Butane gas cylinders. Now, I mean, this ain't no damn Pelican case, but it's pretty sturdy. It's pretty sturdy. And so you just pop this guy in there. So it comes in that little carrying case. Folks, this thing is cheap. When I say cheap, cheap in price. But it's actually pretty good damn quality. And the other thing too, all right, let me pull it off of here. If you haven't seen any of my other videos. Okay, it comes with this nipple right here. Now, if you plug that thing in here, you can put your big tank and plug the big tank right in there so you don't have to use these cylinders. And just to show you, this thing nests like that. Well, it doesn't because it's in the lock position, but it nests. So when you pull it out of the case, you flip it over like that. Um, but too cool. You've got that nipple if you want to hook it into a big tank, which lasted us, a, what, months months for 15 bucks so it was like five bucks a month was our gas bill now these obviously don't last as long and they're more expensive so say you buy this and this is the only piece of cooking gear that you have plug it into a big tank because you're looking at five bucks a month on your your cooking expenses this is this is way too much but if you're going camping or going to the beach whatever folks this is perfect i mean i highly recommend this little jewel right here Made in Korea, it ain't made in America, but it's hell of a lot better than made in China. Fucking China. But this fucking piece of gear right here is made in America. One more big shout out to the Lodge 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. Made in America by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, my friends. Shout out to them. You see that shit right there? USA. Folks, when the USA wants to make something, we make something fucking good. The problem is we're too lazy most of the time to make it. We farm it out to China. Now we got the motherfuckers taking over islands over here that I'm gonna have to take back with the Royal Kingdom of Marcos fucking Navy that we're forming. Folks, I like big butts in the can, I like you other brothers can't deny my goodness all right folks you know there's a lot, a lot, a lot of difficulty in life when you got a sexy old lady now these folks are rolling through on an electric trike and this is sort of similar to what i'm thinking about picking up right here it's got like a little back seat on it but the one i'm thinking about getting is called a cargo edition oh busted his knee uh the cargo edition it's a little bit more hefty in the back. Fourth G still, he didn't get his nap out. He didn't get his nap out. That's why he's not over there swimming with his mama. Um, picked up this Pilger, if I say that right, beer at Angel's Bakery today. This is, I think, 95 pesos. You have to go back and look at the video. But that is a good can of German beer for a, a couple bucks right there. I like the Francis Connor, that's my favorite, but it's it's close to what, 195. It's like 200 pesos, that's four bucks. So I can get this gentleman right here for a two dollars. So I can get two cans of beer for the price of one Francis Connor. Simple beer algebra. Now look, I got this fucking iPhone on this tripod, so I'm trying to hold the right angle for the dangle, but I guarantee you. If you're shooting on a big ass mirrorless camera with a big old lens, you can't do what I'm doing. Not with one, not with a one man film crew. You can't do this shit. This damn iPhone's heavy enough trying to keep the right angle for the dangle. There you go. That's a pretty good beer. Not as good as Francis Connor, but I recommend that. If you go over to Angel's Bakery, try one. Two bucks. All right, listen, I'm finna throw down this shrimp. 
But what else are we gonna cook on here, baby? You talking about that frozen? Yeah. I'm not putting no frozen food in my large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker made in America by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. Why not? Because no frozen food is allowed in my large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. This is frozen too. No. Listen, I'm not putting that shit in my, my combo cooker. It's gonna uh, mess up the but flavor. Admit, it's delicious. It's delicious, but there's no frozen food allowed in this the combo is not cooker. Frozen That's not frozen. It's frozen. No. No, it's frozen. Well, you, no, you ladies probably froze it last night, but when I bought it, it wasn't frozen. Listen, if you want to cook something, bring another pan, but don't put no frozen tempura in my large 3.2 quart oh, okay. cast iron combo cooker. Made in America by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. Hey, baby, don't don't even try to start my cooking operation. Cause I will serve baby. Easy on the combo cooker. Those are fighting words. Don't be drinking my beer. Baby, I had a good time this afternoon hanging out with you. You're pretty cool, you know? Pretty cool, baby. We gotta go see the ice cream ladies on Thursday, okay? Take some Jollibee over there. Don't worry, baby. You'll get Jollibee, you'll get chicken and spaghetti. All the ladies, all they get is chicken and rice, okay? What they got? With a side of french fries, girl, because you wife number one. Your wife number one, wife number two downstairs, now she'll get the same. But the ladies over there, all they get is chicken and rice, honey. If you want to be generous, bring them a side of fries, but they get no spaghetti. Why are you, what, baby, why are you crushing up my, my, my cans over there? I was going to put them on a shelf. I was going to put them on a shelf and revisit them like the ghosts of tonight's cooking show. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Easy on the aggression, baby. Argentina, German beer. Okay, listen. I'm finna throw. I'm finna throw down on this. Uh, but bring, bring some more food out, baby. Don't, but don't bring no frozen food to go in here. Bring some more chicken or, or pork, and I'll, I'll make something out here. Okay. Turn around, baby. Let's see what shorts you're wearing. Oh my goodness, turn around, let's see some of that merchandise. Woo, just a little sneak peek for the sunset. Palm tree, mountains, beautiful Filipinas, swimming pool, garlic, onion, lemon, butter, shrimp, and the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo. Looks like we got the vegetable, not the vegetable, the fruit vendor on station right here. Uh, I got some, uh, a uh, selection of three different fruits right there, and I'm too drunk to even tell you what they are. Dude rolling through on a motorbike. A little bit of action on Times Square, but not overly active. All right, let's get this party started. I don't know what the hell these ladies are doing. I don't know what these ladies are doing, but I'm finna throw down before the sun goes down, my friends. My goodness. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. My goddamn gloves on here. Get this this little cooking show fired the fuck up, cause it's gonna be a quick one. You know what I mean? This ain't no marathon cooking show here, folks. This is a this is a motherfucking sniper shot. Got me a cigar. Got the cold beer. Listen to some Peter B. and the band from Nashville, Tennessee, my friends. And I got my spatula. All right, I got Faye out here on the scene going to try to tell me what to do. Because she knows, she's a good cook, folks, but she only knows how to cook Filipino foods. And I'm an expert on cooking uh, American food while I've been drinking. Faye, thank you for coming out here and helping me, Dawn. Let me hit a big ass scoop of that butter in there. Boom, put the sizzle on the zizzle. Put the sizzle on the zizzle, Faye. 
Now, folks, I usually roll in with my meat first, but I'm dealing with shrimps. And, and baby, can you hold on to them lemons? I'm gonna ask you to do the squeezing on the lemons. But look at that, folks. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I might not have the right angle, the appropriate angle on the dangle. Let me move in a little closer, and if it burns up the iPad or the iPhone, oh yeah, look at that. If it burns it up, you know what? Shit happens. Shit happens. Look at that butter going. And I got this little thing on wide open. Now, obviously, this little this little grill is not going to produce the same amount of heat as a goddamn commercial type uh, burner that I'm thinking about getting from La Germania, I think it is. They have a commercial, semi-commercial what they call it, but the reason I like it is because it's got cast iron trivets. You know, trivets are these little things right here. Now that's metal and it's real slippery, but I think cast iron on cast iron, what that's gonna do is prevent this thing from being real slippery. It's about 70 bucks. But I'm thinking about buying two pieces of equipment for for the cooking show. Oh my God, the smell coming off of that is absolutely delicious, my friends. Yeah, two pieces of equipment for the cooking show. Uh, a grill, a grill, and uh, I'm not even gonna tell you which grill it is. Now look at them shrimp right there. It's a grill and this new burner. And we'll just get that going and then drop that shrimp in there. I ain't fucking around. You know what I mean? When you're sober, you're like meticulous. You're slow to make decisions. And when you've been drinking a little bit, you just go with it. You just go with it. And don't give a rat's ass. You know what I mean? That's what you gotta do. Now Faye's over there squeezing out the lemons. She was over there just putting the, putting the muscle and the elbow grease on it. And folks, take a look at Faye. You know what, I can understand why she gets so many fan mail and everybody asking if she's single. I'm gonna squeeze you. Folks, she's such a cute lady, she really is. You know, but unfortunately for, for all you gentlemen out there, she's married and she's off the market, she's not available. <laughs> uh, because they don't make ladies like Faye anymore, all right? They just, they just don't. It's a, it's a generation of ladies that that don't mind hard work and taking care of their men and cooking, taking care of the babies. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with my old lady, but I'm saying that there's a generational gap uh, that's obviously, obviously evident, and you know what the hell I'm talking about. Go ahead and drop it in there, Faye. Go ahead, let's, let's serve, uh, drop it in there for me. Serve, I'm gonna serve no rhyme before they time, but bust it out. That's lemon juice going in there, folks. That's lemon juice, and we are not messing around. Thank you very much, Faye. Thank you, Dawn. Yeah, so Faye, Faye is a wonderful lady, uh, but the problem is her generation, just like me, you know, we're all getting older, and you got these young girls that don't know how to, let's face it, they don't, a lot of young girls these days, they don't understand hard work, my friends. And they don't appreciate, uh, you know, what a man does for them. Sort of like, well, most American women. <laughs> if you haven't read my book, check out The King's Chronicles. How to Escape the Wrath of American Women and Live Like a King. Links down in the description to my Amazon uh, author page. We'll be holding you tonight. Doing wrong, start doing right. Now see, she does the same thing I do, folks. That that homemade cooking block is great to put a uh, hot plates on. I mean, it's a tank. If you drop that damn homemade chopping block from altitude of like 15,000 feet, I mean, I think it would it would fucking take out most bunkers around the world. That's how thick that fucking uh, homemade chopping block is. I mean, it's like a fucking flying telephone pole, if you know what I'm talking about. Fucking tungsten telephone pole. That's a tungsten chopping block. Now uh, look, these are these frozen? No. These are homemade or frozen? Yeah. This is homemade. That's homemade? 
Okay, as long as it's homemade, baby, it's okay to go in my large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker, baby. Uh, just don't put no frozen processed food in my large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker face. Well, I guess she said it's finished, folks. Check it out. Mm-hmm. That's delicious, Faye. You don't know. That might not be the flavor the Filipinas like, but that's the flavors that the foreign guy love. <laughs> that little baby riding strong, riding shotgun. Yeah! I'm fading out. Just want to thank everybody for joining me on uh, tonight's little video. And I want to leave you with a coconut tree, a sunset, a mountain, a beautiful sky. And I want to say I hope you're having a wonderful morning, a wonderful day, wherever you're at on this beautiful planet that we call the Earth. I'll see everybody on the next one, my friends. And, uh, I just think about subscribing to my, my channel if you don't mind. And I just gotta say peace out. We will see you on the next one, my friends. Love each and every one of you.